I'm going to tell you how you and the majority of people playing Elden Ring or Dark Souls games in general are playing the game completely wrong, completely inefficiently. This comes from an MMORPG gamer such as myself who's been gaming for much longer than you have most likely. Alright, I've been playing games since I was three. So let me just talk about the first thing, is that Elden Ring players do is when they enter a dungeon or a new area, they just fight every enemy that they come across. They see like bad guy, they kill bad guy. That's all they do, that's all their one track mind does is whenever they enter a dungeon, oh no, look, marionette soldiers, oh no, what do I do? Oh, kill them, I guess. Like they spend all this time, take all this damage, even if they're good, like right now I'm just smashing through the content. It doesn't really matter for me that much because this guy's just spamming spells. So what do you do? Obviously, most people, their, you know, Zug Zug brain is like, ooh, smash, kill, smash, kill. All right, so I'm sitting here, I'm killing the enemies, right? You know, I'm progressing through the level and very slowly, mind you, because I'm wasting time killing all these enemies. Oh, look, the grace site. Oh, boy. So they rest at the grace because why wouldn't you? Of course you get the grace. That's fine. Getting the grace is, is absolutely cool, right? Enemies come back. Hey, enemies are back. I want a rune farm. Blah, 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 as they drool from their mouth. Yay, I got 200 runes for that. Oh, man, 200 runes. Oh, boy, kill these guys. I got another 300 from those two. Oh, yes. Mmm, mmm, yes. I'm gonna rune farm, and, and, you know, I'm at the Rhea Lucaria Crystal Academy, bro. According to the runes that these guys give, I should only be about level 40 by now. Wow, mmm. Okay, so let me explain why playing the game this way is wrong and bad and you're all you're doing is wasting your own time and you're not being efficient, okay? Playing like MMORPGs or just RPGs in general is all about efficiency and here's how you should be playing it, okay? So we're going to start back at the main crystal gate. We're going to rewind time and I'm going to show you the proper way to play this game, okay? So we're at the academy, we've just unlocked it, we gotta beat this so we can progress the story or whatever, right? And yes, I know I should have sent the elevator back down, and I didn't, but hey, that's fine, it's whatever, okay? You know, um, we're just gonna go ahead and skip some time here so that the elevator is automatically back down, because apparently the time it takes to sit down is the time for an entire elevator to land. Our character does take a while to get comfy, but... Alright, so here's how an actual efficient gamer, one who respects his time, one who believes that there are better things that he could be doing in the game world. I'm not saying, oh, playing video games bad. No, I'm saying playing video games and wasting your time bad, okay? So instead of killing every enemy, having to chug your Estus, your flask, whatever it's called, okay? Here's how you would actually play. You see these guys? They're not even worth killing. Just run past them. They may hit me. That's whatever, okay? Oh, no, there's an enemy there. Marionette soldier, and I, yes, I'm aware I'm stuck on the terrain. Oh no, marionette soldiers, oh, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna hit me? Okay, whatever, who cares, right? And boom, first grace gotten. Okay, so I, ju I just spent how many seconds doing that? And you may be thinking, but, 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 Soul Benji, you're not, you're not getting runes, you're gonna be underleveled for the boss, what are you doing, bro? And it's like, okay, so now I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna run through this zone now, and I'm gonna dodge all the enemies, because there's no point in killing them. These guys are just absolute garbage enemies to kill. There's, there's real, there's no real reason that I should be doing this, right? There's no real reason to kill them when there are more efficient ways to gain runes in this game. So we run past all the mobs, run up, you know, we're just running through, like, imagine if I had to stop and kill all of these, and that's what people do. They they, they, they get their co-workers or their schoolmates, and, and they log in, and they do a little co-op, and they just smash through every monster. Why are you doing that? Just run past them. And you may be thinking, well, but, but I, I don't know the level. I don't know how to, how to traverse the level or how to navigate to the bosses. And you know what? That's fine. And this doggo actually got on the uh, elevator. In that case, you know, you can go and kill him if they're in your, on your elevator. Duh. But what you do is you enter these zones with no runes, and you die a few times until you learn where the heck you need to go to progress. Imagine if I was still back there killing all of those enemies. I'd get maybe a few thousand runes for it. whoop de heck and do man. Okay, so then I run through the next area, there's a fox boss and so on and so forth, right? You get the drill. So what about rune farming? Well, instead of running through and slowly killing everything and trying not to die and saving up all your little itty bitty little little scrap piles of runes, why would you why would you bother? You know, instead, just go kill something that's worth a ton of runes. I've made a video on my channel on what I'm about to do here, but essentially everyone should be doing something like this, okay? And, um, do I not have... I just don't have the item. 
<laughs> on this save file at all. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So, flail. Hey, look, it's a giant dying dragon that doesn't fight back. Gee, I wonder what happens if I kill it. Hmm, gee, I wonder. I wonder what happens if um, I use a combination of spells to kill it more efficiently. Hmm. So, there we go. We got Blood Flame Blade, Fire's Deadly Sin. And now I'm just going to bash this dragon. And look at my rune count. It's like at 5,000 right now, right? And, uh, oh, hey, I actually did some prep work, and I could put on Golden Scarab, okay? And I could also eat a Gold Pickled Fowl Feet, but I don't have any on the save. Um, so maybe I should go craft some, or maybe I should go make some. Oh, look, I just did 41,000 damage to the dragon standing next to it with a combination of spells. Okay, and you may be thinking, but, 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 Swole Benji, uh, you, you won't know how to do this? And it's like, well, if you played the game, you'll know how to do it, but also, if you just... Google things, you'll know how to do it, okay? I played this game for several days with no internet, and I got fucking nowhere, okay? The internet is there to save you time. That's part of using a modern technology, right? That's what you're doing right now. You're watching a video, <laughs> okay? So, uh, yeah, t use the technology to your advantage. And hey, look at this. Look at my runes, okay? Now my runes are 65,000, and it only took a few minutes. So, uh, what I can do, because this only takes a few minutes, I can sit here, and I can farm, and I can farm, and I can farm until my level is high enough so that I can go smash a boss down without having to give a shit and do this for, like, okay, that's fat rolling, you get the idea, without having a fat roll, you know, just do this over and over and over, oh no, the big boss is doing a big attack, Wee! beep beep, wahoo, bing bing, wahoo, right? Screw that, no, you go to the boss... And you're a badass, and you're like, I did my time grinding, motherfucker. And you just smash through the boss, he's dead, and then, you know what? You get to progress through the game. You don't have to beat boss. you don't have to fight bosses at a low level. There's no shame in being overleveled for a fight. There's no shame in being overgeared for a fight. If this was real life, are you gonna go fight the big bad, you know, spellcasting fox wolf dude? Like, with just a little dagger and your bare shirt? You know, sure, you get infinite tries, but you would still feel the pain and waste all that time when you could be doing something else, like, I don't know, getting further in the game or, or any anything else, right? Like, I, look, man, it's your time, it's your game, you can play it however the hell you want, but from an MMORPG gamer's perspective, where if you're not efficient, if you're not playing the game at your most optimal power level and being as overgeared and overpowered for content as possible, you're just really wasting your own time. You're you're making yourself miserable. If you have, like, ma okay, I, I get it. If you have masochism and you want to fight the boss at level 1 with just a club and reset for hours and hours and hours until you perfectly dodge roll all his spin moves and AoE attacks until you finally beat him, then by all means, go for it. Like, let's look at how this guy died real quick. Let's see what he did. He's fighting something. Why is he fighting something here? There is no reason to ever fight anything here. This guy just wasted, like, two minutes fucking going in here and fighting some bats. Why would you fight these bats? There's no reason to fight the bats in there. There's no bosses. You don't have to kill the bats. What's the point? What are you doing, bro? Like, just stop it, man. Just... Stop being inefficient, okay? And that's my take on why people are playing Elden Ring wrong. They're playing... And you know what? They feel the same about me. They feel like because I overlevel for boss fights, or I overgear for boss fights, that I'm playing the game wrong, that I should quote-unquote good good, and that I should, you know, take out these bosses, uh, you know, by luckily dodge-rolling all their stupid attacks, okay? Like, t take a... I don't know if this boss... Oh, he's cleared on this save. Okay, there's normally a giant gargoyle here, but, um, like, th this fight would be frustrating as hell if you don't overgear for it and use the right spells and abilities, because you have to dodge a whole bunch of his fucking attacks, wait for him to do an attack pattern that gives you a little bit of time to go bonky-bonk on his knees until he repeats the same pattern. You gotta roll and roll and roll it, and guess what? If you don't have the reaction time of a fucking, uh, you know, teenager, okay, if you just don't have reaction time, period, guess what? This sucks, because you're gonna either roll too early, or roll too late, or the boss is gonna do a charge attack, or he, like, winds up to hit you, and you've already finished your roll, so bonk, you just get bonked, now you gotta heal. Alright, it's not fun, it's not interesting, it's not cool, you're just... Hey, man, look, if you want to waste your own time and feed your masochism, great, go for it, man. You know, but for, for me, who plays games efficiently, who, who wants to play games like like it's a job, okay? Like, like would you go to work? Okay, let's say you work at a grocery store and you have to go to the back room and, and lift a giant pallet of 
dog food and then lug it to the aisle. Here's how an idiot would fucking do it, okay? You go to the back room, pretend this is the back room of a grocery store, you grab one bag of dog food, you run all the way out to the sales floor, run to the dog food aisle or maybe a display, you put the bag of dog food down, you run all the way back to the back room and you grab another bag of dog food, okay? That's stupid, okay? What a real person does is they get a pallet jack or a power jack, just a giant machine that moves the entire pallet. So you grab the whole pallet, you run it all the way to the aisle, you drop the pallet, and then you grab bag of dog food off pallet, you put dog food on aisle, you grab bag of dog food off pallet, you put the dog food on the shelf. Okay, because you work smarter, not harder, okay? Why are you working stupid mode? Why do people play this game, oh, I need to beat Godric at level 20, and if you're level 90, you're, you're stupid. It, I get to level 90 in like 10 minutes killing that dragon that I showed you, and I even explained it in the video, like, why are people so dumb, why are people like, oh, you should not be over, it's an RPG game, it's in the game, the game lets me do it, I'm gonna fucking do it, I'm gonna be overpowered for this shit, why wouldn't you, if this was real life, and, uh, let's say you had to fight a big dragon, okay, and you could, they'll give you a little pocket knife to fight him with, yeah, if you're, like, some sort of, you know, like, dodge god, you could, probably kill the dragon with the pocket knife in real life, right? Or they give you um, a military tank and teach you how to drive it and give you nuclear ammo. So you just hop in your tank and you shoot the dragon. Maybe the dragon doesn't die in one shot from your tank, so the dragon breathes fire on your tank and you just, you just laugh at him because he did no damage. And you're completely safe in your little tank. And then you just blast them, and then you collect his dragon bones and become legendary or something, okay? Or whatever reason you're killing the dragon. The point is, is that... Why, why, why are you making this game hard on yourself? Why are you uh, shooting down opinions of making the game easy? Like, you're wasting your own time. Uh, look, if I'm sitting on the couch with someone, like people used to do back in the day, we would go over to each other's houses, and we would sit on their couch or bed if they're poor, and um, we would play video games. And, you know, one person would watch and the other person would play, right? Like, if I open Twitch right now, I can see almost everyone playing this game inefficiently. Why? Why? Like, if I was sitting next to a friend and he's killing these stupid little skeleton zombies for like a hundred runes, I'm like, why the fuck are you wasting time? Give me the controller. Let, let me show you how to do it, right? And uh, maybe he will, maybe he won't, right? Because to me, we could go ahead and smash through this game, play something else, play something more fun. Um, you know, maybe get to the f more fun parts of the game, get to the cooler parts of the game, you know? Maybe he's got like a crush on, uh, of, on Rani and he wants to do all of her quests. So instead of smashing every zombie so we can see that porcelain doll, you know, face, you know, you just go get the good stuff and you go smash through things really quick and then boom, you can be, you know, you can get your waifu quests out of the way or whatever the heck, okay guys? Look, the point is, that, that's the point, okay? I, I don't have any more stupid little comparisons for you. You get the idea. Videos every day on this channel. Leave a like, leave a sub, leave a fucking comment, comment on someone else's comment. Don't just comment hi, okay? I hate that. That's like some weird shit. Stop commenting. Just, don't just say hi in the comments, okay? I'm gonna start deleting those, all right? Like, fuck that shit, man. Is, comment something real. Comment something hearty, some, something that talks about, uh, that mentions Elden Ring, or, 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 or a word used in the title or the description of the video, okay? You're, you're not helping anyone out by just saying hi, okay? You gotta, like, say, oh, man, I really enjoyed this Elden Ring hot take on why you're not playing the game inefficiently. See how many keywords I loaded up into that, into that comment? You ever see me comment on someone else's video? And also, don't talk about Albion Online. We're not playing Albion Online in this video, okay? So leave your Albion Online comments out of it, okay? The reason why is because that hurts the algorithm. The algorithm's like, well, this isn't Albion Online. What the hell is this? Why are you commenting Albion Online in an Elden Ring video? What the heck? Anyway, guys, also, if you're rich, if you're born privileged, and you have money, and you just want to blow it, how about spending five bucks on me, okay, for my hot takes and my opinions, right? Make people mad. The more members we have, the more Redditors will seize and get upset. So, five bucks a month, it's like being a Twitch sub, okay? I'm done asking nicely, because normies don't give a shit. Normies are like, ugh, I just watched the video, I just googled the guide, and I leave. Whereas, you know, the real, real chads out there, the real base lads, you know, you guys, you guys with your awesome jobs, you know, you got money to spare, okay, look, man, I used to live in a van, okay, I don't have an education, I can't get an education, 
education. I have to rely on... I have to play these fucking shitty games. I have to play th this game and look like this skeleton man for your entertainment. I'm like a jester. I'm dancing for you. Look, I'm doing a little jester dance. Does that not deserve five bucks? Does it? Does it not? Anyway, guys, come back tomorrow for an another video. All right. I'm not mad. I'm just trying to educate you, okay? I'm just trying to... I don't give a shit what these million sub YouTuber peoples that have dumb Wikipedia pages that inflate their Twitch views say. I don't care about their metas. I don't care about their opinions. I care about my opinion. My opinion is the only opinion that matters. Okay? So if you want to go follow their dumb metas and their dumb, oh, you got to go kill every monster on the way because you're not a real Dark Souls player if you do. You got to fight the boss by dodge rolling and light armor. If you have heavy armor and fat roll, you're bad at the game. If you want to follow their opinions, why are you watching this video? Why are you watching? Go watch their videos, dude. I don't care. Because, like, it makes no sense. They don't tell you the why. I told you the why of how I feel and why, how you should be playing the game. So, it's their turn. They can explain the why. Why rune level 120? Uh, because it's bal- No, it isn't. You just picked a number. You just picked a fucking number, dude. Okay? And, oh, uh, you should kill every enemy because, like, in the, real, in the real world, if you, there were zombies, you would just run past them. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you would. <laughs> Especially if the real world had world had some weird rune level thing. Like, okay, look at it like this: if you're farming those little piddly zombies for like scraps of runes, you're basically going to a, a, a less than minimum wage job. You're working like an assembly line for pennies an hour. Okay, when you could go get an entry level job, you know, making fifteen an hour in some areas of the world that have fifteen dollars minimum wage. But you get the point. Why would you choose the lower paying job with it's even harder? Like, for me, doing this on the dragon is effortless. I hold a button down. Okay, to kill the zombies, I gotta dodge and weave and roll and fight and tank their hits and heal. And, like, you're just beating yourself up for no reason. Guys, that's it. That's the video. Come back tomorrow for another video. Hopefully you like this one. I don't know what I'm gonna title it. I don't think it's gonna be searchable. But, hey, um, it's not like my subscribers watch this anyway so there you go if you found this video in the algorithm if it was recommended to you on the youtube front page let me know because i don't know if it's working or not okay thanks bye